Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Masha. I am your host. I'm also a certified health coach. Welcome back. Uh, today we are going to talk about confidence. I see a lot of people searching for what is true confidence, how can I be more confident, um, whether it's on a date and close, um, you know, with my partner at my work. So today we're going to discuss on a couple tips and couple guidelines that I live by and I also teach my clients to live by as well so they can feel you know, a little more confident in everything they do and everything they are in their life. So let's get started. Um, if you want to grab some tea, I'm just sipping on some water. Um, it's a pretty cold day here actually in Colorado. I'm not sure where you're at. If you want to comment below, please do. I would love to know where you are. So let's get into confidence. What is confidence? I personally never thought of myself as a confident person. Um, I was very shy. I was very um, quiet, under the radar, uh, timid little girl that, you know, nobody really told me when I was little that, you know, believe in yourself and you can do anything, you can accomplish anything. That's just something we didn't have time to really discuss in my household where I was raised. And um, yeah, I learned how to believe in myself. Um, thanks to myself, me, myself, and I. So how did I do it? Well, <clears throat> it didn't happen overnight. I can tell you that. Um, the number one thing that I can recommend to anybody to feel more confident is to get to know themselves. And I know it's a very broad term, very general. What do you mean, Masha, get to know myself? What I mean is spend some time alone. A lot of people dread, especially with COVID, you know, a lot of people became depressed and it's, I'm not, you know, making that as something insignificant. It is a very big problem, especially in the US, um, all over the world, I'm sure. But the beauty of this opportunity with COVID of being alone and isolated, which most of us are to protect our loved ones, is to get to know yourself. So how do you do that? You journal. First step is to grab a journal and to start writing um, something I practice with my clients called morning pages. Um, I'm sure you've heard of it before if you're in, a, in the spiritual um, uh, community, but basically you wake up in the morning, you have the journal next to you on your nightstand, and because you are still waking up, you're still coming back to your consciousness, you write down everything that's on your mind. And what that is, the, the subconscious is actually yourself speaking to you. So if you have a question, um, if you have just a thought, if you have you know, a comment, um, without judgment, just write down for five minutes anything that comes to your mind. Um, and that, when you read it back, it's almost like a book or a guideline for you to get to know yourself. Who's this voice talking to me? Well, that's actually you. Um, a lot of people never learn to listen to their voice. Women have more capability, I feel like, with the intuition being much stronger than the opposite sex, the men. Um, so I feel like we have more of a practice of communicating with, with ourselves. Um, some people do it in the form of a prayer. Um, whatever your religion is, you know, I believe prayer is a great way to communicate with the higher power, also known as yourself, because I'm sure you know God is within us, the universe is within us. Um, and yes, so that's the first thing I would do is spend some time alone, write down your thoughts, and um, read it over later. That's how you get to know yourself. Also, um, what I would suggest is putting yourself in situations that are unfamiliar, maybe a little uncomfortable, whether it's a, getting a, a job that you, you don't have any experience doing. Like for me personally, it was teaching English um, when I was uh, 
10 years ago, I, I had moved back to Ukraine and I had to find a, a job. I never taught English, but I knew how to speak English, especially with an American, you know, slang and all the terms that we use in US versus, you know, UK. So I was hired as a speaking coach or teacher for, for students. And it was so scary. Uh, I cannot even tell you public speaking. You know, that's something I'm always terrified of. My, my palms start sweating, my voice starts voice starts getting shaky I get very um, very um, nervous and that fear was challenged um, when I was training how to become an English um, teacher in the first class was about 30 people and it was full adults it was not even children it was adults that I was teaching English to um, so putting yourself in those situations as much as possible where you are unfamiliar with this project or unfamiliar with the crowd of people maybe going to a new party um, maybe traveling to a different country maybe trying a different type of exercise or going to a different restaurant just switching something around that you're not very familiar with um, so those, that's going to be my, my main tip for you. And um, another thing that I would suggest to become more confident, and just so you know, translation of confident from Latin means trusting in yourself. Um, being sure and confident means um, just believing in yourself that whatever decision you decide to do, it's the right one. And... Um, it's uh, putting boundaries with other people because a lot of us, whether it's our parents, whether it's our siblings, our boss, our friends, our clients, um, social media, we give them so much power to decide what's best for us when we are the ones that know what's best for us. And that is also what I teach with my with my clients. I am not the guru um, that you expect me to be. There's another video I have coming out that or I have already published about what uh, certified health coaches do. A coach is not supposed to, you know, tell you what to do. A coach, a true coach is supposed to inspire, um, motivate, and also hold you accountable to what all the goals that you have, um, you know, whatever you're pursuing. So for my clients is I actually don't write meal plans for them. I don't, you know, give them an exercise routine um, or a checklist. I want to empower them to make those decisions for themselves. Yes, there's a few guidelines, you know, different body types, um, what you should be doing different time of the month if you're a woman, exercise routine. And I do have a free guide, by the way. Um, it's in the comments section below if you'd like to grab it uh, it'll help you manage your exercise diet and lifestyle throughout the month based on your cycle as a woman so yeah there's a few guidelines that I give my clients but everything else they make on their own and that what makes that's what makes the the program that I founded the shed and shift program that's what makes it so powerful because it uh, gives them the tools and also um, changes the mindset so they can only depend on themselves uh, when it comes to making decisions to better their health, their wellness, and um, you know whether it's losing weight as a result or you know um, feeling more confident in the bedroom or wearing that cute outfit they always wanted to wear. Um, those are um, become naturally the result of of making better decisions for yourself because you know what you want what you don't want um, what kind of person you want to be dating and you don't want to be dating where you want to live all of that is is the power to to your success and um, I believe also your happiness is within you so to summarize real quick, uh, the three points to confidence is number one, spending time alone, um, also getting to know yourself by journaling. Um, second tip is to uh, put yourself in unfamiliar situations or places um, where you will be challenged and trying something new. And um, the, third, uh, the third tip is to um, continue putting boundaries with people so you uh, don't depend on others um, to make decisions for you and you can always be that one person that you can always depend on. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much. It would mean so much to me. If you like this, please share it with people that you think might benefit from it. 
Um, you can also hit me with a like and if I invite you, if you resonate with me, consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much.